Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at us on a beautiful morning here on the farm. I'm getting ready to go out in the strawberry field, or what's going to be the strawberry field, and work up the soil. But I want to take you guys along with me for the ride today. What I'm doing this morning is I am ripping up the soil. We got this deep ripper. I actually just bought it a few weeks ago. And it's a seven shank ripper, but I took out four of the shanks because our tractor won't be able to handle it. With a three, I was messing around with it yesterday and the tractor was struggling if I was going too deep. So the initial plan here is to uh, rip up the soil, you know, 12 to 16 inches in the ground, loosen up that soil, and I'll explain more why in a little bit. Let's go ahead and jump in the tractor and uh, make sure all the foods are good, everything's ready to go. Long day on the tractor today. All righty, so the only reason these subsoilers or deep rippers were uh, built or created from the beginning is for the row crop farmers and it was invented or built to uh, rip up the plow pan that's what it's called so after many many years of plowing the same soil you know you have the, that good six to eight inches of nice soft dirt but underneath that soil you know compaction of tractors you got uh planters i mean just tiller i mean all kinds of equipment on top of that and then that that soil compacts and over a while the nutrients and water uh, can't, isn't allowed to go through there anymore because it's so compacted. So the, these subsoilers were built and created so that they could uh, farmers could take these in their fields and rip up that plow pan and have the water and uh, nutrients, you know, continue going down and not hold as much water. So that's the main reason these were invented and created. On the strawberries, uh, as you guys know, we don't we haven't been growing strawberries for many years. We we don't we don't have the plow pan. Uh, issue right now uh, there's no uh, we have no issue with the uh, uh, hardness of the soil or compacted soil the only reason I am uh, subsoiling or ripping up this soil is mainly for one reason and that is to allow more water to drain through the subsoil uh, as you guys know with strawberries early spring we do get a lot of rain here in southwest Missouri or in the, in the Midwest in general there's a lot of rain and if you don't have anywhere for that water to go, it's going to sit there. And for us here on our farm, our you pick and if we're not able to get our customers out in the field to you pick then uh, your berry is just going to sit there in the field if everything's nice and wet and uh, moist. So that's the only uh, reason I am ripping up the soil. I'm trying to go at least 16 inches down on the ground to rip up the center of the rows there, rip up the, the entire field so that if, the, if there's any access water, and you know there is a little bit of compaction from the um, you know just the past year from the old strawberry field we're opening up that uh that, that subsoil so the water can continue draining down i'm not sure if it's going to help or not i talked to other farmers who uh you know i talked to a lot of farmers uh most of them don't do this a few of them do and i found this implement on the back of the tractor here for like 800 bucks i'm like you know what let me just give it a try a few extra hours on the tractor working isn't going to hurt me much so that's the whole goal and idea here is to rip up that soil, open up that um, that uh, subsoil, uh, make sure there's uh, it's nice and soft so that the water can continue draining down below that um, that level so we don't have any sitting water issues like we did this past spring. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue ripping here. Let me get out of the tractor here and I'll show you guys what I was doing yesterday. Alrighty, so out here at the strawberries and uh, we, uh, I had Isaac pile up this mulch here. We had to come with the grappler today and put in the dump trailer and clean it all up. But the strawberry field now is nice and clean. I got to come through and disc this so it can be nice and flat so we get the implements up and down this. But this soil right here is, is pretty soft and I plowed it last uh, fall so it should be nice and good. It's not much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna rip, to uh, rip this one as well just because I have the implement and why not. So I was out here yesterday and opening up this pasture. This used to be a pasture here. And has never been uh, in production. It's been grass for the past, I don't know, since the beginning of time. And um, I was out here yesterday ripping this up. And you could tell, there's three shanks coming through here. And I guarantee if I get a piece of stick or a rod or something, it's going to go down in these crevices here. When the cracks in the soil, a good 12 inches. And just ripping it up, opening up that subsoil, that subloil. Uh, so, <laughs> I can't even speak this morning. That subsoil, making sure there's... Um, plenty of nice <clears throat> loose soil and i'm gonna come through here and and molar plow this chisel plow it and disc it make sure it's nice and fine for that mulch layer make sure the soil is nice and um nice and loose so uh yeah that's what that machine's doing there 
it's just the subsoil ripping up that that subsoil uh, making sure there's plenty of uh room and air in the soil looking back I'll pr i'm gonna probably be i mean i'm probably wasting my time with the subsoil i don't know i'm just i'm just trying out new things uh seeing if it's gonna help and if it does help and we don't have any water sitting in the spring um it's gonna i'm gonna be really proud of myself but if it, if it doesn't work out too well then you know it's gonna it is what it is but we're gonna start planting strawberries here hopefully my goal is to have them uh planted by uh labor day by september 7th or sometime that first week of september to either start planting or no i wouldn't be started planting before that depends on when the plants come in but by the first week of september to be done planting so you know it is the um i forget the date 16th 17th of august so we still have a little bit of time for us to get the soil ready but the faster i can get this plastic laid the better we actually need a few more inches of rain because this soil is really dry right now and a few more inches of rain will nice soak things will make everything nice and soft and make the um, soil flow a little better in the machine but yeah uh all kinds of plans i'm always I'm always brainstorming in my head Alrighty, so i said i'm gonna rip up the uh or disc up this whole strawberry field first but uh i just started on working on this one and it's supposed to be working pretty good so this is a lot of rock down there, but it's ripping up pretty good. So I'm making sure that uh, every single there's, I'm ripping up the entire field up. I'm not really, a lot of people do it just on top of where the rows are going. But uh, I had some water issues that on this side of the field here. So I'm just gonna rip up the entire field here. It doesn't matter which row, where the rows are or not. But yeah, just keep it going. Just like that, make sure those shades are on the ground and make sure the tractor's driving here and be good to go. done ripping the entire field there uh, it's uh all subsold i might have to do that that pasture part of it uh one more time the part's never been cultivated ever uh the strawberry field actually went pretty smooth i was really surprised how it turned out but i'm just planting the disc right now and leveling out that strawberry field so all those humps from the roads and everything but uh yeah we'll this just real quick and then we will uh get out to the field again disc in the field as you can see here this was all a level last year that's how much fluff is in the soil which is good this fluff soil will compact nicely and uh be real good for the uh plants so just leveling everything out and then once it gets everything leveled out i'm gonna get the, the the plow and deep plow it and then disc it again start laying plastic This is so cool to me that I'm driving on top of the straw. This is, I mean, for the past, whenever, nine, 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 10 months, maybe a year, we couldn't drive in this field and now we're able to. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, having a little fun on the four wheeler here. 
Yeah, but this stuff right here, I gotta come through here and mold or plow this a couple times, chisel plow, and then I'm gonna have to come through with the disc and disc it again. This is a, a field that's never been under cultivation. It's gonna be a, need a lot more work than this field right here. This field right here, this is where the strawberries were, and uh, it's real nice. It's real fluffy, really uh, easy to work up. The disc actually goes in the ground. I know on, on new pasture field, it's rough. Uh, rough fields, it's soil's never been up, worked up before. Compaction, a lot of rock, got to clean up a lot of branches and whatnot. Yeah, but uh, fields that have been worked up before makes it so much easier. This, I'll show you guys the soil here. It's already, it's already super fine and we haven't done much to it. Just deep dripped it. Look at this. Nice, beautiful, lush soil. So, yeah, year after year, if you're growing crops, much easier to um, get your soil ready than a empty empty field and empty pasture And a lot of this stuff here is just clumped up dirt. So that's what we're disking the top there. Just clumps of dirt there, dried dirt. That's when you need some moisture in the soil. We do. We did a pretty good job last year cleaning up most of the rock. Like this is just dirt right here. Just dried up, clumped dirt. We need some rain and moisten everything up before we start making uh, the beds. They're calling for rain this weekend, so it's starting tomorrow. There's not much. There's like a 40% chance. But even a half inch if we get out of here, it's gonna be it's gonna do us a whole lot better than trying to build beds and stuff with the uh, clumps and stuff. You can see where the rows used to be because it seems to be all buried here, all that moisture from underneath, center uh, between the row, another row. So yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot more dirt work than uh, you know when everything is strawberries are growing fruit. You don't think of much dirt work, but. If you don't get the soil ready and prepared the right way and you don't get enough uh, nutrients and stuff before planting, it's a pain to grow fruit and vegetables uh, in, in rough soil. So, you know, soil prep and uh, fertilization and soil fertility is a lot more important than a lot of people think. Alrighty, y'all, this is gonna be it for today. A lot of field work today. Got done today. We still got a lot of more dirt work to be doing. And for the next week or so, we'll be doing dirt work. I'll show you guys how we renovate that field into a strawberry patch. But this is going to be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day. We will see you next time.